Hey everybody, good morning. Big day here at the Toy Car Collector. I'm in the car. I always like to make my introductions in the car. Just, it's the only time I really have free time. So, um, I haven't bought a collection for a while, but I did have a collection come in yesterday, and it's in a big box. So, I'm getting ready to go home and open it. I just dropped my wife off at work. And man, the traffic was terrible today. The freeway was shut down, so everybody's on the service street. It took me like an hour to get down and back. Anyway, now, on the way back, it was pretty slow, and all I could think about was this Danish from the new German bakery up the street from my house, so I gotta go there now and get the blueberry Danish. Go home and have some coffee just so I can stop yawning. Oh my gosh, I've been yawning all morning. And then, and then, I'm opening the big box. Okay, stay tuned, it's fantastic. I hope it's fantastic, I don't really know for sure, but there's a lot of stuff in it, and it's big, big, big. All right, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there it is, the big box, and that is big. 30 inches wide, or is that long? By 19 by 19, that is one of the biggest boxes I have ever got. Now I wanna get to opening this box, but I feel like I need some coffee first. This is gonna be a long process, I think. Gonna go ahead and cut open the tape. It looks like there's also some, some, uh, Staples? They might have stapled this. Those UPS folks, they just do such a nice job. They really do. Of course, it does cost a lot of money to ship something by UPS. Fortunately, this only came from like Las Vegas or something. Oh. All right, let's see. Let's put the knife down. Open up the flap. There she is. I'm hoping there's this mongoose and snake box in here, the dragsters, and I'm hoping it's decent because I've got all the parts to go in one. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Oh, there's a box and a case. It's a Mattel factory, the Hot Wheels factory. Nice. There's a speed strip for the Grand Toros track. Nice. Gonna erase some of those. A box of stuff here. A couple of Hot Wheels cases down there. Oh, this is going to be a long, long video. I have to break it into several parts, but do stay tuned and watch it all. It's going to be exciting for us as we reveal what is in this collection. All right, let's dig into this box and move everything over to the table and the couch. We'll put down the Grand Toro speed strip. Ah, and a letter. One letter. One miniature cars carry case. Miniature cars carry case. Very nice. And uh, I hope there's some plastic goop in there. Maybe we can make a Hot Wheels. And a box. Hmm. I don't know what's in the box. It's a pair of shoes, size eight and a half, ladies. All right. And lots of packing materials. Two Hot Wheels cases. I know one of them has Hot Wheels. One of them has some few Johnny Lightnings and some Matchbox. Pretty sure. And this one's very light. But this one's, look at this one's all messed up on the back. Got too close to the furnace, I suspect. Put that down. Got to get my gray thing there. Get that out. And I think just the Snake and Mongoose boxes in there and then that silly I've never really cared for this because it's not really so much a Hot Wheels item as it is just a plastic goop toy anyway let's get out the mongoose and steak and see how she is I guess I have oh yeah got a good face on it yeah it's actually nicer than I thought that's really nice I don't think it actually has the dragsters but uh, I'll put it here yeah, that's nice. I'll be able to... Oh, wait a minute. Looks like it got came for Christmas, so it has a Christmas tape there. A tear here and a tear here. Oh, boy. And a tear there. Well, not as nice as I thought, but it's still decent. 
pretty decent so we'll check the stuff usually when you get these now I have an extra one of these that came uh, that was mint in a box in a set and not a set but an accessory pack it's usually this is broken pretty much always this is broken it's sometimes these are broken as well so we'll get that out but let me get my uh, get this table set up and we'll start opening cars all right where are we gonna start with this I guess we'll open up the miniature cars case you know I've got a few of these uh oh my battery's all worn out holy smokes that's not gonna work oh look at that yeah two trays of toys two trays of toys all nicely wrapped what's in here oh look at that I always ask everybody to wrap up the toys so it makes a nice reveal it really does it makes a nice reveal video it's exciting for you and me and it is fun it's in here one of these oh and these has matchbox 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 probably hmm. all right let's stack those up very nice let's see what's in here tape this one's taped knife where's the knife All right, let's see what's in this box. There are, what is this? Hmm. Oh yes, Hot Wheels Sizzler boxes, that's cool. That's right. You know, I got a bunch of these I need to sell already. There's eight more, cool. All right, now let's get on the tripod and start revealing some cars. All right, here we are on the table, ready to start opening. Look at this, we've got some sticker sheets. This one for the Brabham and this one for the Indy Eagle. Brabham and Indy Eagle. How cool is that, huh? A couple of sticker sheets, another one over here. It's just the, uh, just the moon eyes. Boy, you know, I think I'm gonna go slow this time. I really wanna enjoy this. I haven't bought a collection in a while. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at that, isn't she cute? A uh, pink, ooh, sand crab, look at that shiny base. Very nicely placed flower decals. You know, I, I've heard there's a group on Facebook that actually is all about flower decals. They love the flower decals. They celebrate the flower decal as an art form. All right, next up, what is it? This one is Jackrabbit. Every collection has a Jackrabbit. Let's see, this one's got a little scratch across the front. Usually what I'll do with the Jackrabbits is put the Reproduction Jackrabbit special uh, decal sheet on it, sticker sheet, make it look real nice. People, Everybody likes to have a Jackrabbit with the special Jackrabbit decal sheet. What's next here? Uh, Torero. Torero in aqua. Good color. Couple of nicks, not bad. Wheels are nice. Base is okay. A little gray on there. But good color with a matching hood. It's not easy to find matching hoods so nothing wrong with that good little car good average shape let's see this one is ah this one huh that's funny has a I thought it was a beach bomb hmm it's an ambulance all right ambulance there it is ambulance another blue one boy I keep getting a lot of blue ambulances but again nice one so that's good I do like the ambulance. It's very popular, much more popular than the tow truck for some reason. I don't know why the ambulance is so much more popular than the tow truck. All right, next one up is Beatnik Bandit. Beatnik Bandit. Let's see what color. Purple Hong Kong. Purple Hong Kong. Nice shape. Purple Hong Kong. Beatnik Bandit. Thanks to Ed Big Daddy Roth for designing the Beatnik Bandit. We all love the Beatnik Bandit, don't we? Next one up. Hmm. Boss Haas, maybe? Boss Haas. Yeah, Boss Haas. Nope, King Kuda Chrome. King Kuda Chrome. Stickers are sticking up a bit. 
know you probably lay those down with the right kind of uh, adhesive because it is the original sticker sheet, brown interior, silverish, very nice. Decently good, decent shine on the motor, a little dull on top. You can always polish off that top just slightly with the little jeweler's rouge and a Dremel. Next one up, mm, Twin Mill, Twin Mill, Twin Mill, Olive, Olive Twin Mill. Got a few of these lately. The last two I got had stickers all stuck on them and they kind of ruined, but this one's nice. That's a good little Twin Mill. Good little Twin Mill. Let's see, we got to put the Twin Mill and the Torero together. They kind of go together. All right, next one up is a Lola GT70. Lola, there it is. Lola and Antifreeze. A little darker on the front, a little hazing up in the front there. Sticker's not quite on right, but decent wheels, decent base. Not bad for a little Antifreeze Lola. Antifreeze Lola, one of the race car series, Grand Prix series. Next one up, this one is Diora. Diora. Oh, there we go. A little Diora with boards. Nice. Let's take a look. Is the steering wheel still in there? Can we see it? I can't really see it from here. Got to get my high powered reading glasses. Nope, it's floating around inside. They're always floating around inside on these because they get knocked off. I think the. Uh, it's not a big deal though. You're not going to be looking in there. A little Hong Kong Diora in purple. Nice. Let's put that with the beatnik band in purple. Very nice. This one is a Red Baron. Let's see if it's going to be shiny. Nope, not shiny. It's really hard to find a Red Baron that's shiny. But this one still looks nice. It's got the uh, iron cross on the side. It looks like the red paint. Got a couple chips, but very bright. Nice clear on the red, so that's nice. Just not a shiny helmet. It's really hard to find one with the shiny helmet. That is a challenge. Here we've got a Indy car. I'm thinking, uh, let's see, single pipe, double pipe, Indy Eagle, double pipe, Indy Eagle. There she is, green, Indy Eagle. Very clean, very clean. Indy Eagle, very clean. All right, that's almost the first 12 in this collection. Uh, what's next? Oh, I'm supposed to guess, come on, McLaren. McLaren in blue, McLaren in blue, a non-matching back, a little darker on the back there. Front has got a really nice light, lightish, kind of a lighter shade of blue. Very pretty. Too bad it doesn't match. That'd be cool. This one almost looks like a Hong Kong back, but it's just dark and it is blue, but that's nice. That's nice enough. Anyway, we'll put it here with the Lola. One tray down, one tray down. All right. Probably just do two trays per video. Why not stretch it out? Make a lot of videos because you can't watch all day long and you can always click over to the next one. Oh, hey, this is a treat. That's the thing about buying collections. Now, that's what got me started buying collections years and years ago. It's been 27 years I've had my catalog. It's been like 30 years since I started buying collections or looking for collections. Is that no matter what you get, it's things you already have, some Grand Prix cars, not that exciting. You know, and, and some more common cars, you always have those already. But then you get something really nice, like this orange 36 Ford Coupe. It's always nice to get one outstanding car. Out of each 12, that would actually be pretty good. Sometimes I buy collections, just get one or two cars that I really need. And of course, once you buy them, then you've got some to sell. Light my Firebird, let's see what we've got. Oh, look at that. A light by Firebird in good shape. Thing about 68 models from the first year, of course the 68 Firebird says 67 on the bottom because that's when they designed it. And it will always carry the design year on it for whatever reason. I don't even really know the reason why they do that, but obviously they cannot change the casting every year just because the year goes by, that really doesn't matter. But uh, the 68 models are typically in bad shape. And this one is in really good shape for a 68 because they just got played with longer, that's all. What's this? This one is Ford J car. Oh, another white enamel Ford J car. This time USA, USA, USA. And that is very nice. Look how nicely those stripes are on there. I'm gonna put that in one of my favorite categories. I do like the US white enamel. I got a bunch of Hong Kong ones in a variety of shapes, but not in really good shape. I'm gonna put that in my little row of favorite cars there. Got lots of Hong Kong cars already. I put that in my favorite row for this lot so far. And the next one up is got a big what? What is this? It's got oh, 
Oh, this is one I'm really looking forward to, the Harry Holler in green. Okay, come on. I hope it's a good one. hope it's good. Because I really, I couldn't sleep thinking about this Harry Holler in green. And sleep thinking about it. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's pretty. She is pretty. Oh, and got a shiny base too. You know, I've been doing this so long, I'm really particular. And people that buy from me are super particular too. If they want a junk, they could always go to eBay and get that. But uh, I find a lot of nice collections. And look at this nice green. I don't, you know, I don't know if I've ever even had a green a green hairy holler before as a matter of fact you know if i had a green hairy holler it'd be on my redline collector website but um i don't think i'm up to date on that i've been changing and working on that redlinecollector.com website love that one we'll put that that's my favorite so far the three favorites so far we'll just put those right there next one up is another convertible hmm wow wait a minute but this is now, you know, I think it's another Jack Rabbit special. You wouldn't think there'd be two in there, but there she is. Jack Rabbit special again. Second one up today of the Jackie Rabbit special one and special two. Okay. Another Grand Prix here. Hey, come on. We're doing duplicates now. Hmm. Indie Eagle again. Oh, this one in copper. Hey. With nicely placed decals. There you go. Very nice. Copper, that's a tough one. That's a more difficult one than a green. Very nice. Copper. I'm going to put that here in my row of favorites so far. Next one up, Volkswagen. Yeah, I think it was an Aqua Volkswagen I saw in the picture. It looked like it was real nice. And we're going to find out here in a second. And, oh, yes, there she is, Aqua Volkswagen. Good color on that one. Yeah, I love the Volkswagen. All right, let's see. We're going to move these two over. Look at that. Not even up to 24 cars, and I've already got five that I really like. That's cool. That's so cool. And what do you know? Here's another Volkswagen, another Volkswagen, and it is green. Look at that. Another winner. Yay. We're winning. We're going to make red line collecting great again. Yay. Right there. Look at that. Oh, look at the green. Green and green. Green and orange. Making red line collecting great again. All right, here we go. We wouldn't want to make it crappy again. Let's see. It's been that in the past. Okay, McLaren. Uh, McLaren. You know, McLaren can be nice. Oh, it's look at that. It's a nice light olive with a matching back. Matching back light olive. Very good. You know, every time I buy a collection, I take a big risk that it will not be good, but... This one has some nice cars. It really does has some nice cars. I haven't seen a lot of nice car collections for a while, but they're out there. They are out there, definitely. And I get my share of them. This one is a eh, Boss Haas. Yeah, Boss Haas Chrome. You don't find the colored Boss Haases very much. No, look at that. I made the same mistake again. It's another King Cuda. Crying out loud, two of everything. That is so cool. Two King Cudas, two Jack Rabbits. Two Volkswagens and two McLarens. Nice. Very nice. All right. Cool. All right. Let's see. We're almost up to the end of this trunch, trench. What do they call it when you have multiple things? Uh, uh, episodes and whatever. This is Chaparral on this one. And it's blue. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I got several blue ones already, but I don't think I have this shade. This one I'd say is like a medium blue. It's not an ice blue. It's not a, it's like a, it's a light shade of blue. Hmm. I'm going to put it in my row of cars that I really like. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it right, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here. My favorite. Next, 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 next. All right. All right, okay, one more in this, and we'll wrap up this video, and we'll get started on another one. This one, Shelby Turbine. How about a good color? Let's see, when Shelby Turbine, we'd like orange, copper, and uh, light green. Those are the good ones. Uh, oh, just regular green. Regular green, kind of boring, but at least it's not aqua. There's a lot of those out there, and I got a ton of blue ones. In fact, some of my blue ones don't have any wheels. Maybe I'll just take these wheels and put it on that. And, oh, got a toothpick in there. Well, I don't really need that. Better not set it on the floor. I might step on it. Okay, so that is 
Part one of this fabulous gigantic box collection featuring Hot Wheels, Johnny Lightnings, Matchbox, and Sizzlers, and a Mongoose and Snake set, and some other things all in one big package. And thank you for joining me. And be sure to, if you got the time right now, go ahead and watch the next episode because I'm going to put them all up at the same time, I think. I'm pretty sure. Let's set them up all at the same time. All right. Thank you. Bye now. <laughs>